This video is going to go over the type tool in Photopea. This one is just going to show you some of the bare basics. There are lots of little fun things you can do with it, but this one's just going to show you the basic tool. So to start with, I'm going to go new project. I am going to go to photo. I'm going to go to five by seven and hit create. The reason I'm doing this is so that you can actually see the type so I don't have to blow it out of proportion um, if I would do a larger document size. So next thing I'm going to do is go control plus to zoom in. If I would do this when I have a type box engaged, it will actually cause your screen to go out of whack. And if that does happen, go up into your snowman in your upper right corner and go over here where it says zoom and bring it back down. But hopefully that won't happen to you. So right now I'm going to go over here to my main toolbar side, click on the type tool, which is the big T. First thing, you'll see that you'll have a menu appear at the top. First item on there, if you click, this gives you different choices for your uh, font. Make sure you click on it. Sometimes it will give you a little loading menu. Um, just be aware of that. Next, you have the style. So if you want it bold, regular, italics. A lot of them come just in regular, but there are a few that have italics. Then you have your size. You want to adjust your size. Click on the little arrow. You can move it up or down. Um, for this one, I'm going to start 64 so you can see the letters. You have your color. So if you want to change the color, click there. You get the color picker menu, and then you can make adjustments. Then you also have adjustments for where it'll be placed inside your type box. So you have left, right justified, as well as centered. And then you have a warp feature. So to start with, we're going to click and drag. Sometimes, yes, it will give you this little loading menu. And then we're going to type a word. So when I type a word, you will see that the word will appear. You'll see it's in a type box. So it lets you know it's type. If I want to transform the word, I can go up to edit and go to free transform. It will let me stretch. It will let me move the letters. Just make sure you hit enter. So that's one way you can kind of play with the text. If you actually want to make changes, as long as it still shows a T, I come to the type tool. I can click. I can drag over letters. They'll highlight. So let's say I want to come in here and change their color. If I want to change the font of an individual letter, I can come in here. It may give you a little time to kind of adjust it, but again, it will make the adjustments. One thing to be careful of, though, is if you would want to, say, do something like erase out parts. So if I would come here and try and apply the eraser, going to give me an error message saying that the text need to be rasterized. If I need to do that, what I need to do is go over to the word the layer, right click, go to rasterize. Although if I rasterize, then it means I can't go back and individually adjust any of the font or the scale unless I'm doing this in free transform. It's actually going to shift it into a series of pixels. So right now I rasterized it. So now if I want to come in with my eraser tool, again, I can go through, cut parts out. If I want to move parts, though, remember, if I would just come to the basic move tool, it's going to move as a solid chunk. But if I want to move it as parts, I'm going to have to select an individual part and then go to the move tool then move it. So that is the start of the type tool.